Welcome back to Sip the Tally Films. I'm your host, Coach Evans. And today, I want to preview the Panthers versus the Ravens. Coming up Sunday at 1 o'clock in Carolina, uh, Charlotte, that is. I really just want to go through the numbers and compare like we've been doing on these Saturdays and see how each team matches up and then give you some stats to look out for and some players to look out for. Let's get started. Before we get started, if you're first time here and you like the content, please hit the like button. Likes are very important in these parts. Uh, and if you want to be here for more content, film study, uh, roundtable on Mondays, hit the subscribe button and also hit that bell so you can be notified when those videos drop. Without further ado, let's get into the, the numbers. Uh, we're going to start with offense today. Uh, Ravens versus the Panthers. In scoring offense, we have a huge edge in the rankings, but not necessarily in the in the points. We're number six at 235 points. They're 17 at 204. That's only 31 points difference. Total yards, we're 19 with um, almost 3,200. They're 27 with just under 3,000. Uh, yards per play, we're number nine in the league, 5.8. They're number 20 at 5.3. And you can see the, the huge discrepancy in rankings, but only a half a yard difference in yards per play offensively. Uh, passing yards, both of us toward the bottom. We're 28, they're 27. Um, they have, what, about a 80 yards more than us passing at 1,762, somewhere around that number. And uh, passing TDs, they've only had eight. We have 16. Rushing yards, we're number three in the league. At 1,513, and they're 13th at 1,180. But don't let that number fool you because they've been coming along with their running game lately, and we'll talk about that in a minute. Our rushing TDs, we're ranked 15 with 9. They're ranked 12 with 10. They have more rushing TDs than us. And third down percentage, this is going to be big in the game. We're At this point in the season, we're getting converting our third downs right at 45% which be anywhere close to 50 is a good number. They're last in the league at converting um, third downs, 28.3%. That's a down we have to take advantage of coming up uh, this Sunday at 1 o'clock. All right, let's slide on over to the defensive side. Scoring defense is actual points scored against them. Uh, they're 26. They've given up 243 points. We've given up 196, number 13 in the league, middle of the pack. Uh, defensive yards, this is total yards. We're Total yards given up. We're number 15 at 3,157. They're three from the bottom at right uh, a little over 3,600 yards. Yards per play, your average yards per play. And it's pretty even right there. They're 5.4. We're 5.6. Uh, passing yards. You know, this is a number we're trying to get away from the bottom, and we are slowly climbing up. I don't know if we can realistically get to 10, but the closer we get to 10, the better I feel. And so we're up to 25 in passing yards. Uh, we've given up 2,329. They're 20th, uh, and they've only given up 2,232 yards. Passing TDs, we're right there neck and neck, uh, 13 and 14, which ranking 16 and 19. Uh, rushing yards given up we've only given up 828 rushing yards if I'm, and if i'm not mistaken we haven't uh surrendered a 100 yard game to a running back yet this season um and we'll talk a little bit later about that the importance of me saying that uh rushing tds they have 12 they've given up 12 we've given up nine uh third down percentage which is you know stopping other teams on third down which is sometimes our problem but the numbers are not bad for either team they're six, we're eighth, um, right around the same percentage, one percent difference, and sacks. And it seems like we've been getting a lot of sacks lately, but because I guess because of that bye week, we jump, we dropped down. So we're number ten with twenty seven sacks, and they're number twenty three with nineteen sacks. Have you ever put your drip on the step out and thought something was missing? I got the perfect thing for you, Hive Eyewear. They are providing one of life's most important accessories, 
the frame. With every outfit, I wear the cherry on top of the cake. Fellas, I know you're always looking for the perfect gift for your significant other. Hive has a style to fit every personality. They also have what I need to look my best also. If you want to live the Hive life, tap into Hive Eyewear to be your flies. Follow on IG at Hive underscore Hive and at HiveLife.com on your browsers. They also have gift card options. And if you hang around to purchase, put in code SIP to tally for a 10% discount. Again, live the Hive life, be your flies. All right, appreciate that. Make sure you support. Make sure you support everybody that supports the channel. And again, don't miss out. They have a Black Friday sale starting soon. Let's move on to stats to keep an eye on. Uh, Devontae Foreman, I was going to say Freeman, but Foreman has has been over 100 yards in three of his last four games. So that's why I mentioned that stat about uh, holding. We haven't surrendered a 100-yard rusher yet. Three of his last four games, Devontae Foreman has went over 100 yards. So it's going to be a big task stopping him uh, from running the ball. Uh, Brian Burns has a sack in three of the last four games. So, again, you know, got to take care of Burns, find out where he is, and make sure he's blocked. They had 31 in red zone attempts in the league. So they have this, almost the last, the least amount of red zone attempts in the entire NFL. But they're fifth in tackles for losses with 52. So they get after the, the runner a, a good bit. Um, they're 32nd in most drives against. And what that means is they're the last – they've given they've had the most dr- defensive drives in the NFL. Their defense has been on the field the most drives. Uh, they're second in the NFL with penalties with 67. And those are a few things that we need to capitalize on, you know, in this game to, to come out with the victory. And finally – the important players we need to make sure, you know, we ensure we find out where they're at and do something with on this last slide. Rule number one, stop Devontae Foreman. Again, three of his last four games, 100 yards rushing. Uh, keep him under wraps. That way their play-action game can't hurt us and DJ Moore can get down the field. Um, it, it really all starts with stopping the run. Baker's the quarterback this week. So if we can stop the run and prevent him from play action and booting and, and the things he like to do, we should be good in that front. Defensively, help the tackles with Brian, with Brian Burns, whether it be with um, running backs chipping, whether it be with tight ends, uh, blocking before they release into their routes, whether it be just even putting Ricard over there helping out, with, you know, wherever Burns is. Because I think Burns is the type of guy that can, can beat our right tackle Ronnie probably can handle it, but uh, Moses, he's probably going. And so I probably should have just put help Moses with Burns because I think Ronnie can handle it. But, again, find out where he is, make sure he's blocked, and then run your offense. And uh, as far as Foreman goes, don't let him go wild because if you give him an inch, he'll take a yard. And, you know, yards add up in football. So that's my preview for the Panthers versus the Ravens. And as far as a score prediction, I think the Ravens come out on top 31-13. I think we have a big day in the rushing attack and maybe have, you know, an average passing day, but with a couple of touchdowns from, you know, getting in short yardage situations, getting them over top. But, um, hey, man, I see y'all soon, man. Like, comment, subscribe, share. And if you're new, make sure you you, you hit that subscribe button. Uh, don't forget about the More Sip the Talent channel. I'm starting to do more stuff over there. And if you want to become a Patreon or subscribe to the channel, not subscribe, become a member of the channel, the links to do so are below. So please, I appreciate you guys, and I'll see you soon. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you chose to be here with me. Peace. With the, with the